Was this the right move? We know that Moody's believe the RBA would keep the cash rate 4.1 percent in August. You called it, but they have said that perhaps more tightening is necessary. Your view? Yeah, I think this was definitely the right view to pause. I mean, at the end of the day, the Reserve Bank of Australia has delivered a significant amount of monetary tightening already. So it makes sense that they're, they're sitting back for another month to see how households in particular are digesting uh, this significant amount of tightening. I think um, it, it's really interesting to see in the statement that they maintained their view that further tightening may be required. So they've clearly kept that door open to see um, how the economy is evolving. At the end of the day, we ha still have an incredibly tight labor market. And as you mentioned, we've still got um, inflation, both headline and underlying inflation, well above that central uh, bank target range of 2 to 3%. So good news that inflation is trending down, but it's certainly not where the RBA would like it to be long term. And so they have got that door firmly open to make sure that they're sustainably bringing inflation back down to that, that target range. Yeah, absolutely. And I think what we've seen over the last few weeks is developed markets, central banks saying that the end of the tightening cycle is near. You could probably add the RBA to that camp now. This was, uh, by many respects, a pretty hawkish hold, given the language that we've seen. If another rate hike is to come, what is it going to look like, Katrina? Yeah, that's a good and question. When? So our expectation... Yeah, our expectation is that we might see one more rate hike in September. So that would, uh, you know, bring the cash rate up to 4.35 percent. And but it's really data dependent at this at this stage. I would say that um, it, it would be another line ball call there. And um, we'll, we'll need to see how the, the labor market data, how the retail spending data, and most importantly, perhaps how that inflation data is continuing to, to respond. I mean, if we continue to see the labor market remaining extremely tight, then um, I think the RBA will need to, to go one more in September to, to really keep those inflation expectations anchored, to really, you know, tell, you know, communicate clearly that inflation does really need to sustainably cool more. And I think, you know, they're taking no prisoners in, in their approach and their resolve to make sure that inflation returns to that, that target band because, um, you know, the, the alternative is certainly not a desirable option.